keep you long life. Say amen. 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 That is whatever you are going through. When you call upon his name, he will answer. You want to turn your Bible with me to the book of Psalm 91, verse 15. Psalm 91, verse 15 and 16. Psalm 91, 15 and 16. He will answer and give you long life. He said, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life, will I satisfy him and uh, show him my salvation. I will answer him and I will give him long life. Now, for us to be, uh, to be a benevolence of this promise, we have to have an example existing relationship with him. Who is it that will give you long life? This Christ, your maker, the one that make you, the one that mold you, the one that fashioned you into whom he is. And the one thing God is asking from you and I, each time and each day, is give me your time. Once we have time for God, in all our endeavors, in everything we do, once we have time for him, he will always give us time. He will always answer us. There is nothing you ask, except if it is a means, except if it is not in his, in his will. And then he says, he shall call upon him, me. You will call upon me, and I will answer you. Now, this is a kind of assurance. Look at it. <laughs> in fact, this kind of thing, there are limits to which we can make a promise if it is time. You know, somebody will meet you and will say, anything you need in life, come and ask me, I will give you. They will tell you that anything you need, as long as it is in my power, there is no condition or such here. As long as it is in my power. Because this God we are talking about is all power, is almighty, is all knowing, he has everything. So there is no time you come. There is no hard time for him. There is no uh, 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 perilous time for him. There is no scarcity with him. He says, you will call upon him. Say, Lord, I need this, and I will answer you. Lord, do this for me, and I will answer you. Give me a soul, and I will answer you. Establish my business, and I will, uh, and, uh, and I will answer you. So he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. Then you now ask. You say, uh -huh. Okay, with this promise now. But I have been calling upon. And he has not answered me all this while. Hmm. He shall call upon me. How do you call upon him when you don't know him? How do you call upon him when you do not have his attention? I will be with you in trouble. Trouble will come. Look at it, though. I want us to just pay attention. Somebody will tell you, but I'm born again. Why should I have troubles? But I'm born again. Why should I be running at that scatter? But I'm born again. Why should I be moving to and fro? Why is it that trouble here, trouble there? I will be with you in trouble. Meaning that trouble will come. But understand, even in the means of that trouble, I will be with you. Even in the means of that trouble, I will be with you. I pray for you. The Lord will not leave you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I will be with you in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. Now look at it. The way I will so fight for you, it will so happen that he said, but thou, O Lord, at the sheet for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I will not just deliver you in isolation. I will deliver you to bring you honor. I will deliver you from that entanglement. I will deliver you from shadows of light. I will de deliver you from, from the thick forest. I will deliver you from, from powers of darkness. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I want to say one thing before we begin the prayer. There is nothing to add for God, not at any time. 
not at any time. If we are not getting things, it means we are not setting the record straight. If you set the record straight. Eh. Elijah said we need to set this record straight today. Let us see whom God is God. And so he, he set the record straight. The kind of audacity, the kind of uh, authority, so much that even the existing God could not even function. Tonight you are going to pray because he has already assured us. He said he will answer us. I want you to open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord because the God we serve is a living God. The God we serve is a, is a non failing. Begin to bless his name. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I will call upon him and he will answer me. I will call upon him, he will answer me. Call upon him, call upon him, bless him. He never fails, he will never fail. He has never lost any battle, he can. Is the all sufficiency in his power? You will call upon me and I will answer you. All you just need to do is ask. I will be with you in trouble. I will be with you in trouble. I will bring it with you in trouble. Yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We live in this world and there are diverse troubles. There are diverse troubles. You want to talk of delay? You want to talk of confusion? You are at the point of confusion. I don't even know what to do. You have prayed. It seems that the things still remain the same. You are confused, I'm telling you. But there is no one to even explain to that we understand how deep this thing has. Because you are frustrated. I will be with you in trouble. We are going to pray and tell the Lord. Every trouble that has hold me down. Let me tell you. There are some troubles that you know where to go, but you cannot go there because of that trouble, because of that entanglement, because of that chain, because of that bondage, because of what is holding you down. You know where to go. You know when to go. You know what to do. The ability to do it is not there. Why? Because there are entanglements. Because there are troubles. You are going to pray and tell the Lord every entanglement, every powers of darkness holding me from functioning, every troubles of life besieging me and my family. Lord, I command it to stop right now. Shall we open our mouth and pray? I command it to stop. It has to stop. It must stop. It must stop. It must stop. It must stop. That trouble of life. It must stop. Trouble is everywhere. Some people have even concluded. They say, trumpet and sound. We are in the great tribulation. Because everything is tough. Things are tough for them. And so they say, we are in great tribulation. Forget about it. They want 44,000 as well. <laughs> My God. He said, they will deliver you from troubles. He will be with you. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver me by your power. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The devil will come. He will try you within. He will try you without. He will try you at all costs. I will deliver you. Sweet is that promise. And I will not forget you. I will deliver you. That's the word of God. Look at it. I will, I will, I will, I will answer you. It's an assurance. It's not empty. I will be with you. Go anywhere. Let the trouble come. In the hand of, of terrible ones. You know when our people, when you hear that somebody is in the hand of kidnappers, yeah, let us pray. They'll bring him back. They'll bring him back. They'll bring him back. They'll bring him back. That's a good one. What about the one that is spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that is glory, is spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that is his wife, is, is spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that the, the, the children are spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that the husband, the man of the house, is spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that the business is spiritually kidnapped? What about the one that is... Talk about, talk about those things that should be okay. Everything is kidnapped. Are you not supposed to join hands together and pray? And pray. And pray. When prayer are made, God is always there to answer. God is always there to answer. Release me from the hand of spiritual kidnapper. 
Release me from the hands of the terrible ones. There are terrible ones. There are terrible ones. There are great terrible ones, I am telling you. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. God is there. God is there. He will deliver you from the hands of the terrible ones. He will deliver you from the hands of the terrible ones. He will deliver you. He will deliver you. From the hands of the terrible one, from the hands of the wicked one. When you are sleeping, they are planning for you. When you are making progress, they are planning for you. They are wicked ones. They are the terrible ones. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. No matter how strong they are, I will deliver you. He will never fail his promise. He has said it, and he will do it. I will deliver you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Say it louder, amen. Amen. We had uh, a powerful session with God yesterday night. And um, we were talking about the spirit of Beelzebub. And in my findings, I discovered that Beelzebub itself is not the devil, but is the second in rank of the devil. And Beelzebub is uh, the spirit that flies. He has the ability to, to, to manifest himself. He has uh, the ability to uh, incarnate himself into anything created that can fly. Anything created that can fly. And it's very expert in, uh, in uh, all this uh, scientific microbiology kind of technology. Very, very smart. And that is his area of specialization, Belzebub. And that's why when you go to the hospital, either you say, I have this one, you say, I have that one. They understand from where pattern this Belzebub is originating from. If it has happened to this one, it must happen to this one. It's a simple formula. Belzebub. So that's why you carry this sickness, you put it upon this one. Ah, the doctor say, I understand. This is what is happening to you because of this, because of this. This is running in your bloodline. This is running in your, in your system. This is running in your family. And so we now have different kind of sickness. Let me tell you, anything that had to do with sickness, Sickness, sickness of any kind. You want to talk of cancer. You want to talk of high blood pressure. You want to talk of HIV. You want all these terminal sicknesses. They are caused by the spirit of Beelzebub. Mm. And if we will not pray, how shall we be delivered? It mm. is when you pray, that is when he answers. And so you are going to pray tonight. See, there is no sickness that God cannot give. Why should you remain in that sickness? Why should you remain in that pain, knowing fully well that it is a spirit that is responsible for that? And may I let you know that when you know Christ, you are greater than Beelzebub itself, no matter how strong it would be. I know they are very strong. Let, let's, let's, let's just say, for God, that Christ has given us that confidence that when you mention the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Now, how can we free ourselves from this sickness? Some people have terminal sickness. They are counting days of their life. They are... They are they, they keep maintaining it with different kinds of drugs. You are going to pray tonight and tell the Lord, Lord, deliver me from this sickness. Deliver me from this issue. Deliver me from this predicament. Open your mouth and pray. The spirit of Beelzebub, I tell you. The spirit of Beelzebub. Go and do your findings, I'm telling you. They are medical perfect. Almighty God, they are very good in inflicting and causing pain, mayhem. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me. Deliver me. Spirit of Beelzebub can bring you up for Spirit of Beelzebub can delay answer to your prayers. 
seeing you but i believe that we are praying it the way it should be done when you talk about deliverance there are some there are things that we just need to get ourselves off so that it will be easy for us to serve christ when you are still dragging with poverty and you are still combating with it your spiritual life can never attain what you have to attain when you are still facing challenges and you are facing difficulty, pain here, and you are facing pain there, your spiritual life will be very, very heavy. And so you can't even serve him. You can't even flow the way you should flow. But I tell you that God can deliver you tonight. You know, uh, it, it, it used to surprise me when some people will say, uh, they will say, I ran away from my people. When they want to kill me, I ran away from that village. I ran to another village. And, 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 and so that they, they will not be able to catch me. You know, something happened here yesterday when we were having VG, and um, when the presence of God was moving, and uh, uh, there was something that was supposed to come out from somebody, it, it was supposed to come out. And so we were praying, we were seriously praying. And uh, when we were praying, the thing actually came out, and uh, we, we really prayed. So immediately after the VG now, we had some counseling section uh, that just finished about 30 minutes ago. And then the lady came and says, why you were praying? And we were outside here and we were praying. Then you mentioned uh, something like a ring. You were talking about a ring that was placed inside us like a covenant. So while you were praying and you were commanding that thing to come out, he said, I saw the thing. It looks like this. She was doing the symbol. So she did the symbol of the ring. I said, the thing looks like this. Was bringing the figure of a ring. He said, the thing came out from this side. He said, before I used to have things walking around me. A lot of things happened with anger. He said, the thing came out. As it came out like this, I saw literally fire. The thing caught fire and burned to ashes. That is a great deliverance. That is how to break out from every covenant. That covenant is like a remote control. Anywhere you, if you travel to another city, if you travel to another town, if you travel to another kindred, 
wherever you go, they have the masterpiece. They have the remote. Except you break that remote. Except you cut out of that remote. Except you break out from that covenant, the thing remains binding. You are going to pray and tell the Lord, any covenant that is binding me, binding my life to sorrow, binding me to limitation, binding me to poverty, binding me to sickness, I command that covenant to be broken now in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and break it now. Whatever it is, whatever it is in you that is not glorifying the name of the Lord, let that it come out. Let that it jump out. Let it vanish out. Let it burn. Let it burn to ashes. Open your mouth and pray. Anything in me that is not of God, <laughs> let it come out. Whatever form the covenant in me, let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. In the name of Jesus, begin to come out. Begin to come out. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to sincerely pray. I want you to sincerely pray. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your mind. Pray with all your spirit. Pray with all your soul. It will come out. It must come out. It must come out. It must come out. Yeah, if it's not coming out, the problem remains here. If it is not coming out, you are still a slave. If it is not coming out, you are still toes, toe and fro. If it is not coming out, it's a big problem. If it is not coming out, it will continue to afflict you. It must come out. Lord, it must come out. Whatever covenant it is, from the village, from anyone. Oh, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. There are some covenant that needed to be broken. You know, one of them told me here some few minutes ago before we come in. She said when I was uh, about uh, four years ago, and at that four years ago, I think she will be around that uh, 22. She told me about her parents. My father is an idol worshiper. My mother is an idol worshiper. Uh, one way or the other from the school, she saw some people that practiced Christ, and she, she was in love with it because she felt that if she did not join with that group, it's like she's from the alien. She's a different person. So she gave her life to Christ, and then she began to follow Christ. Then the torment came, and the attack came, and, and all that. So she now told me that in their own village, what they used to do is that the father will be the one to marry them to the husband he so wants. And so since this one has broken out now and she came out of it, they have been looking for a way to bring her back into that covenant so that she can be married to uh, one of those elders among the kinship in that cult. So uh, they tried to get her. They could not get her because she was really on fire. So they now use another means. How did they do it? The friend of the father, who actually wanted to marry her, actually, the father, the friend of the father, the person I'm talking about is now the father. That, that friend of the father is over 64. And the girl I'm talking about now is only approaching 30. So when the girl saw, the, the man saw her, I said, ah, come, come, come. Are you not the doctor? So, 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 ah, I've been wanting to counsel you and help you give me your number. So gave the number because she did not understand the, the principle of covenant and the absconding from uh, a, a power that binds. She did not know that. What she had was that what once you are born again, then you are born again. So she saw the man, and the man said, ah, come, come, come. Let me collect your number. I got the number and gave this lady 2,000 naira. So she collected the 2,000 naira about two years ago. Do you know that since that time, up to this time, he keep appearing. He keeps appearing to that to that lady, and I keep molesting her, molesting her in the dream, molesting her in the daytime, molesting her everywhere and at every time after collecting that money. That money is already a legitimate. It's like you say, see, I have paid your buy bribe price. I have paid everything I need to pay. I have given it to her, and she has collected it. So I bought her. Since they are in the same group, 
The father had no choice than to consent, than to be consented to that kind of pattern. And so that was how the man formed a spirit husband, the, the, the incubus spirit, to that lady and begin to vandalize and uh, defile and uh, whatever carnality over the lady or this wife before the lady was delivered. And so you don't know. People will look at you, hey, the man did not have this one. Okay, let us help him. Uh, I brought this one for you. There is nothing bad in collecting gifts, but let us be discernment in the spirit. Let us be discerning in the spirit. Let us know the which one gift is necessary, the which one gift not. <laughs> there was a man we prayed for here, and I said, before you get home, something will happen. As he got home like this, coming down from the house, the neighbor came and said, ah, come, 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 come and take this coconut. Come and take this coconut. The coconut she never gave for once. Come and take this coconut. So all of a sudden, the man said, no, we don't want. Eh? You don't want. The woman ran again. He wanted to meet the wife. Take this coconut now. I've been keeping this coconut for you. The woman said, go and meet that. As she did not find alignment, she went to, went to meet the children. Come, come and collect this coconut. Give it to your father. Break it so that when they come, they will have something to eat. And don't, the children said, my daddy said we should not collect anything. No. We should not collect anything from anybody. So if you want to give us something, it's just better you wait for daddy to come before you give it to daddy. And that was why they, they did collect it. And so you don't know what gift you collect now that bring you into bondage. But want to pray. For whatever things you have, that have, have transpired, that has formed a covenant binding you to whatever uh, predicament you are going through now, that the Holy Spirit should destroy the power of that covenant. Shall we open our mouth and pray? That covenant will be destroyed. He says it will come to pass in that day. The body that was laid upon your shoulder shall be taken away. Once you understand what you understand what is a in your life, all you need to do is to break that from it and come out of it. There are a lot of covenants that are so wound up for so long. We have become a slave. We have become a slave. We have become a slave. We carry it by you, but we are a slave. We preach the gospel, but we are a slave. My people perish because of the My people perish because they lack knowledge. That is not the collective. What is that your wife collected? for all. They brought it 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 for all. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, upon the Lord, He will answer you. You don't have to be running that escalator. That covenant can break today. You don't have to run from people to force. That covenant can be broken. You will declare it, and it will happen. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. I will deliver you. I must be delivered. I must be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I am delivered from that. I am delivered from that shame. I am delivered from that covenant. I am delivered from that past. I am delivered from that evil gathering. I am delivered from his sin in the dream. Amen. Bible said with long life. Will I satisfy him? 
Who will I satisfy Amen. with long life? They that call upon him, mm. he will answer them. Mm. How will he answer them? By giving them long life. Mm. Mm. Something happened yesterday. Uh, there was a young man who had been trying to get married. He saw the person they want to marry. And they have been in relationship for four years. And so it was time for them to begin to prepare for uh, the, uh, the normal right that is supposed to be done. And one, one is living in the West and one is living in the uh, South because of their job description. And so while they have been planning, they have carried their parents along and uh, everything. So they were to meet yesterday for uh, uh, further plannings and buying of things that were necessary because it was a time for their engagement. So the lady was coming from uh, the lady was coming from the east to Lagos to come and meet with the man so that they can further discuss. While they were coming on the road, the lady had a fatal accident, a very serious one. And so they rushed the lady to the hospital. In fact, I see you for that matter, and she was placed on oxygen. So while they were trying to run around, yay, the half of my life is in the hospital. What should we do? I'm not sure it's up to 30 minutes. They called back and said, the lady is dead. She has gone. Terrible, terrible things are happening everywhere. Terrible things, wicked things. And that was how she has had administering on her. Bible says, with long life will I satisfy you. Why should your children die? The young lady died at the age of 30. Why should your wife die before her time? Why should your husband die before his, his time? Why do we have people dying among us? Before you know it, it's hospitalized. The next thing you will hear is dead. The next thing you will hear, this one has calamity here, calamity there. Ha, with long life. You are going to pray and tell the Lord, I will not die before my time. My loved ones will not die before my time. My children will not die before their time. Please open your mouth and tell it to Jesus. I will not die. 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 You say with long life, you will satisfy me. With long life, you will satisfy me. And show you and show me your salvation. Holy Ghost, I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. I will not be an embodiment of evil report. Say it's hospitalized. Let's begin to do rotation. Brother, so so so, go and visit him. Brother, so so so, go and stay with him. Go and do this one. Go and carry him to the toilet. Go and carry him to this one. Carry him to church. This one, that one. With long life, will I satisfy you? With long life, will I satisfy you? With long life, will I satisfy you? That has the promise of God, it will satisfy you. You will not die. You will not die. Why do you die? This sickness is not unto death. You will not die. This sickness is not unto death. You will not die. You will not die. In the name of Jesus. Yes. He shall call upon me. Call upon him. I will answer him. That is our God. Not a coward. I've been calling upon him. Is it the God of the Zidonians? If you call him, he will answer you. I will be with him in trouble. Let the trouble come now. We have a God that can be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. He's a mighty warrior. He's the almighty. He's greater than the greatest. He's bigger than the biggest God. He's greater than Beelzebub. I will be with you in trouble. I will be with you in trouble. That trouble will not kill you. You will come out of it. You will come out of it. You are coming out. You are coming out. 
Oh, in the name of Jesus. I will deliver him. I will deliver him. Your deliverance is sure. Your deliverance is sure. Jesus himself will bring you out. Jesus himself will bring you out. I will deliver him. He will deliver you. I honor him. I honor him. And honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him? With long life, will I satisfy him? Yes, I show him my salvation. I show you my salvation. You will not go to hell. You will not go to hell. I show him my salvation with long life. You don't need to go soon. You are not going anywhere. You have not finished the ministry that God has given unto you. You have not finished. There is a race that you must run. There is a race that you set before you. You cannot finish. You are not finished. You are not done. I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. With long life, will I satisfy you? You have to satisfy you. You can never be. You can never be. Can you go take over? You have to take over. You have to fight for me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise because there is always refreshment when we come before you. We are refreshed. We are refined. We are renewed. Huh. Yes, it's a day that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Our strength is renewed again. Knowing fully well that you are with us and one with God is a majority. We now know that no matter the trouble hit, we cannot die. And we can't die in the trouble. For the Lord said, we deliver us and give us long life. My God and my Father, I pray for everyone that is sick. Stretch forth your healing hand and heal them in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those that are wounded, full of pain, Lord, heal their wounds. In the name of Jesus, Amen. people that are looking unto you for one thing or the other, my God and my Father, I pray, Lord, that which they are asked of you, do for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. That which they are asking for you in the name of Jesus, do it for them. The ones that their business is being locked up, my God and my Father, I pray now, open windows of heaven, lavish your blessings, lavish riches, lavish open doors, Upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then they are experiencing delay in their life. As my father is being delayed, this one is delayed. Then the delay is also working on me. I want to be reflecting in the life of my children. Lord, I command now that that delay will stop. I command it to stop. The spirit of go slow will destroy it. And we command that you begin to go fast now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Lord will begin to relocate a better place, a greater place in the name of Jesus. Amen. My Lord and my Father, I pray you will do a new thing. You will do great thing in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Uh, today, Abraham, by the grace of the Lord, he totally believed that he has been called. And then and there is no temptation. Uh, that can come from God to him. Then the trial come. Abraham never thought and never thinking the, that trial can come from Almighty God. But there's one thing that's very spe spectacular about Abraham. Uh, he knows that God can do everything. And he knows, no matter what the case may be, yes. God will continue to be with him. Then this is a trial. Go and kill your only child. He didn't doubt. He didn't know the reason why God have done that. But he believed God is God. And he will continue to be God. And he will continue to be God in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. For some of us that we are Christian, uh, whatever we are passing through, don't think... Why should this thing happen to me as a Christian? The way you are called, that's the way Abraham was called before the trial. 
Yes, the trial came. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Abraham mm -hmm. succeeded, we will succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Abraham overcome, we are going to overcome in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. And then the challenge is this. Amen. My dad, we are, you say we are going for sacrifice. Abraham, Abraham didn't know that this is what God wants to prove. But my dad, you said we are going to a sacrifice. Where is that uh, the animal we are going to go use for the sacrifice? Then Abraham innocently, without knowing the, uh, the agenda of God, without knowing the plan of God, he said, God is going to provide. That brings us back to where our, our dad have taught us today that God is going to answer Prayer. So no matter what situation you are passing through, no matter what you what you are seeing before you that look like mountain, no matter how big that mountain is, is your God is bigger than it, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they are going to become fully in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's as a result of this. I want you to look back. And I want you to look at your present situation. I've been always telling us, I don't believe uh, in prayer of uh, it is normal. Uh, in the nursing school, I couldn't finish. So don't think that I went to nursing school. I couldn't finish. But one of our teachers told us that one of the things that always surprised him in the, in, in the nursing home or when we are doing something for the resident, we call the patient resident in the nursing home. So, uh, is that they will ask, how is this man? They affix all their names. So, in the morning, we want to hand over, we will say, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, my teacher in the nursing school said, you always being embarrassed. That we are saying, okay, okay, okay. Me, okay, me, the man remains the same. He has never changed. So instead of said he improve, he improve, he improve, he, he, or this day, he improve. So I don't want our suggestion to be, ah, we come to prayer today, okay, 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 as usual. As we are coming to the prayer meeting, there must be improvements. And there will be improvement in your life, there will be improvement in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want you to look at that situation, the one you met yesterday. The one you say, ah, the one you have witnessed now, the one you think that is coming tomorrow. For some of us that have been following our prayer for the world, uh, actually, uh, whatever we happen, I don't want to say we happen, but uh, God knows everything. Like the example our father gave to the, uh, give to the, our dad, now give to us now about the, about the sister. We have seen a lot of people think like that will happen. Uh, no, we are not, I'm not trying, I want you about, so I'm not trying to, uh, try to, uh, uh, I want you about, you know, if you ask, I recall, like, but I recall, I recall, I but I want us to do, let's say, like, keep on, but, uh, pass what I want, see people like that and say, ah, huh? Let us pray. I don't want you to travel. This thing, because of this thing, this thing, I want you to do this thing. Pastor, you may have told us a, a lot of experience about his life. That he wanted to travel, and then this thing happened, and then he has to delay. To delay. Though he has seen it, and has, has seen it, but by the grace of the Lord, he escaped. I remember when we are going for my, I'm, 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 just for, even just one prayer, we are going to pray. I want you to know that God answer prayer. I remember when we were going for my 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 what is it my marriage, the introduction in in the, in, in we had the Joshua in Iwo, and then the Agri Glodo was coming. I've not been a perfect driver. I don't know we will have died two of all of us because already I stopped in the middle of the road and it was free and the Agri Glodo was coming. Anytime I remember that situation, I always 
I only, I only fear God. That only God save us. So we now call upon the name of the Lord. That God see answer prayer. What is the situation you are now to eat, to provide for your family, to go further, or to establish a business, or to do one thing or the other, and it's difficult. As God, our Father have told us that God answered prayer, and as we have seen that how God provided for, uh, for Abraham when he wanted to sacrifice, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us call our, let us open our mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. What is that situation that is very hard? What is that situation you find yourself? What is that situation that is difficult? What is that situation that you are facing? What is that situation that looks like? No, there's no way. Everything's have been blocked. I want you to open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. He answer prayer. I don't want you to doubt him. I don't want you to think it is impossible. I don't want you to think he cannot take you away from that situation. I don't want you to, I don't want you to believe you have done all your best. See, there's no way. In the, in, the, in, the, in the Yoruba language, they will say they, they are say, they are say power. God has given a day to break. God has given a day, a, a power to, to Saturday of today to break. And you have heard about it that God has a prayer. Including me, including you, including your family, including my family. There's no impossibility in the dictionary of Almighty God. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. The King of Kings, this is the situation I find myself. You see that you are done? That that thing you want to do, and as a result of this, as other people are planning, you, you cannot plan in that way. Tell Almighty God, you know I'm, you are smarter. Is it like in your family, as we have been saying, your family situation, your generation is affecting your plan, where you want to go, where you want to be. Everybody knows that you are smart. Everybody knows that if there's nothing you cannot accomplish. But as you lay your hand upon it, other people are succeeding. You, you are not succeeding. Or it is me, you are not succeeding. Call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. I want you to turn things over. Is it like you do not even know where to go? If your destiny is in your hand, but you don't know how to play the game, you do not know how to play the ball. Just complaining, complaining every morning, every night. I see the day is going. Baby, you are 55 years now, you are 45. If you are 45, if God allow you to use another 45 years, it's by grace. And when do you want to start to finish your destiny? If you are 55, if God allow you to use another 35 years, it is because he loves you. Then when did you want to fulfill your destiny? If you are 60, if God allow you to use another 25 years, another 30 years, yes. But look at that 50. When do you want to start accomplishing your destiny? Need to call upon the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hello, sir. We cannot hear you again. Oh, my sir. Are you hearing me now? Hello? Hello? Hello, are you hearing me now? We are hearing you. We are hearing you. So, I know, and now, you need to call upon the name of the Lord. If you are that 45, another, if God allows you to use another 45 again, it is by the grace of God. If you are 55 now, if God allow you to use another 35 years in the situation in Nigeria, it is by the grace of the Lord. If you are 70 now and you have not achieved your dream, and you are still saying, I'm, still, I'm begging to eat. Even you are 65, you are 60, you are you are you are, you are 55. Still, you have not achieved your dream. 
There is nothing to say about your life. There is nothing to, to talk about. The regulation? The, I mean, the kind of situation? That when things are going to change? There is need for you, there is need for me to call upon the name of the Lord. If at this age, at age of 55, my marriage is still, my marriage is still crashing. I need to call upon the name of the Lord. If when we're supposed to be eating, yes. We believe that things are going wrong, but we, our children, they are still suffering. When things are going to be changed. Then, and then we say, God answer prayer. Then we come to the prayer meeting every Saturday. Then we meet on every Thursday. God that honor the prayer of Jesus. So Monday, we are here. Means urgently. And we able to claim to the Bible. We are able to hold on to the word of the Lord that God is a God of provision. Then if God is a God of provision, why is he providing? Is it not peace? Is it not blessing? Is it not that he raises head up? Then why do why me? So that's why we don't need to be coming every Saturday repeating the same thing. That's, that's the reason why we don't need to come every Monday and receive, I mean, repeating the same thing. There are more be a spectacular thing that makes you greater. <laughs> My regional officer always tell us something. In order to make you a leader, in order to make you a spectacular, spectacular something, you must be ahead among the people that they are under you. Then why is the God of Elijah? Why you find it difficult? Why do you find it difficult? Difficult to hold on to my destiny? What is delaying that prayer? What is it like? My prayer is not being answered. Why people are asking me? Why people are talking about me behind? Why the promises of the Lord is not coming to pass upon my life? Is it like I'm mis I'm, 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 I'm misunderstanding my destiny? Am I misunderstanding the word of the Lord? Do I not see enough spiritually? Is my, is my spiritual uh, my, uh, my spiritual heart blind? Why am I remain the same every day, oh Lord? One thing becomes so clumsy. Elijah said, where is God of Elijah? Are you not going to be talking to me, Lord? Oh, uh, I let me see. So if it is this situation I am to I am to be, where people will not glorify your name in my life. Why will enemy will be mocking me? Why enemy will be saying, see, and he's calling himself a Christian? Why even me? That's why all that one. Why can't I come to my room and kneel down and say, Almighty God, I thank you, enemy, my blood, me, what you have done, what I have seen. Father, why can't you change my situation? Why can't you let me move forward? I know we have been told that you answer prayer. What is all those hindrances? For how long I will continue to say it will go better, go better, go better. Ministry, 
Let him prove himself in my life. Let him prove himself in my situation. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. And let me see, Almighty Father, that you answer prayer. I know there's no amount of commandment. I can say that I can use to undo you all, that I can say this is the good God. Or I can use that promise to say, God, you must do this. But I know you are God that fulfill promise and said that love is on my own side. All upon the name of the Lord, King of King, where is God of Elijah? As a prayer, but the Bible let me know these people will not believe except they see sign. It was the sign of last year. It was the sign of the beginning of the year. We are still to the end of 2024. The same sign. Where is God of Elijah? Answer prayer. Then why my own would be an exception? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor Dapo, end of all. Mm -hmm. oh, Pastor Dapo, I think it's no more on the line. I think he has, uh, he has left. Okay. Pastor Mike. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our Father and our God, we want to return all the glory unto you. We want to thank you because you are the God that answers prayers. We want to appreciate you for the way you have led us even today. Thank you for the man of God you have used for us. Oh Lord, I pray, both the man of God and all of us who have prayed together today, oh Lord, I pray, let there be a definite, oh God, a definite testimony, a definite miracle, oh God, that we can point to, that we can say, indeed, doing this prayer, God answered me. Oh God, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We come before you. You are the God that answered prayers. And you said, unto you shall all flesh come. We have come to you. We have cried upon you. The Lord, you will touch our families. The Lord, Amen. you will touch our lives. Amen. The Lord, you will touch every area of our life. And Amen. those who are sick, you will heal them. Those who are oppressed, you will deliver them. Those Amen. who have marital problems, that you will solve every problem. Oh God, I pray. Oh Lord, I ask. The Bible says, in Becket is angel spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. Oh Lord, as an oracle of God, I speak, oh God, Father. The Bible says, Therefore, we believe and therefore we speak. Oh Lord, I believe by this word of prophecy. Oh Lord, I pray every word online today, without exception, myself inclusive. Oh Lord, I pray in a definite way, in a supernatural way. Oh God, I pray, answer all our prayers before seven days' time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray, whatever be the burden on our hearts. Whatever be the sorrow in our hearts. Oh God, you told us in the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. You said, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Oh God, I ask, whatever is making us cry, whatever is making us weep, whatever is the cause, oh God, for the, our ordeal. Oh Lord, I pray, Father, you are the one that touched, oh God, Anna in a definite way. And you will give her a new song. 
You are the one that touched Mary in a definite way, and the power of God overshadowed her. You are the one that touched, oh God, Father, Elizabeth in a definite way, and you gave her, oh God, a John. You are the one, oh God, that touched, oh God, Jabez in a definite way, and you turned, oh God, in sorrow to joy. You are the one that touched, oh God, obeyed them in a definite way, oh God, and we saw his life turned around. You are the one that touched Mordecai in a definite way, and you took him from the prison, and you took him, oh God, to the place of his destiny. You are the one that touched Joseph in a definite way, even though he was bound, even though he was tied, even though he was under captivity. And it seems as if his dream will never come through. But you touched him in a definite way and you took him to the palace and you made him a prime minister. Oh Lord, I pray. Everyone online today, I don't know the challenges you may, we, we, we each of us may be passing through. But Lord, I come to present everyone before you. Oh Lord, I pray. Testimony that cannot be denied. Hey, oh God, hey. testimony, oh God, that cannot be denied. Hey, oh God, there are some testimony that people will see. They will not know that there was a testimony there. But there are some testimony. For instance, a woman who has been waiting upon God for the issue of the womb. When that thing begins to shoot out, nobody will tell anyone that this is a testimony. Oh God, I pray. Testimony that we cannot hide. Testimony that is undeniable. Oh God, I pray. Testimony that is verifiable. Oh Lord, I pray. Testimony that will silence our enemy forever. Oh God, I pray. Do it in the life of everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I am praying that Lord, that garment of shame upon that individual, I tear it to pieces. Amen. Oh God, I pray. That thing that seems to be bringing shame and bringing heart attack and bringing sorrow, I pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the Egyptian that you saw before, you will see them no more. Oh God, I pray. Whatever challenge we have seen before coming to this prayer today, in the name of Jesus, we will see them no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I am praying, Lord, as the Red Sea, oh God, swallowed Pharaoh and all his courts. I pray, Lord, in similar manner. Oh God, every problem represented. Oh God, in every family, in every life, in the brother, in the sister. Oh Lord, I pray. Oh God, I ask. Oh God, the same God that swallowed Dotan, Koran, and Abira. Oh God, I pray that same power, that same authority that did that. Oh God, let there be a repeat. Every challenge in our life, let them be swallowed up in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we return all the glory to you. Amen. We thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Lord. I just pray, Lord. I just pray, Lord. That when the role is called up yonder. Amen. That every one of us who have been a family in this prayer group. I pray that none of us will miss him. Amen. That Lord, you will keep us and you will preserve us. Amen. No Amen. evil will befall us. Amen. Faith shine upon us. Satisfy us with long life. Amen. Where there are sicknesses, where there are diseases, who oh God that we cannot even see, whether visible or invisible. I pray for that person now. That sickness in your body that you are nursing, that you have been carrying. I mean, that, that sickness has been over 38 years, over 10 years, over 5 years. But it has been in your body and you have been managing it. Hey, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will no longer manage that sickness. I command that disease. I command that problem. In the name of Jesus, Dr. Jesus, Dr. Jesus, Dr. Jesus, you don't need an instrument to perform operation. You don't need gadget to perform operation. You don't need X-ray to discover where the problem is. I pray that where that problem is, where that challenge is, you challenge, hear the voice of the Lord. I command that the hand of the Almighty, the hand that doeth mighty things, the hand that can heal, the hand that can deliver, the hand that can go to the cell, the tissue, the organ, the system, the hand that can go over to the mitochondria, the nucleus, even in the body. Oh Lord, I pray, never that challenge. Let the hand of God locate that challenge now, locate that problem now. And I pray, oh God, as you remove, oh God, that woman with the issue of blood, you dry it up, oh God, Father. Oh God, I pray, in similar way, oh God, dry up, remove every challenge in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, I therefore pray, as we round off now, Holy God of heaven. I remember that man at the pool of the cider. 
that man did not have anybody to help him to get into the water when the water is covered by the angel. But Jesus came to a situation. And when Jesus showed up, the situation of that man was over. The scale, the, the problem in his life was over. Oh Lord, I pray. In the life of this, my brother, in the life of this, my, my sister, Holy Father, the God of the whole universe, the God of heaven and earth, oh Lord, I pray. Show up in our case in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, we return all the glory to you. Alleluia. I thank you for our pastor, whom you have been using tirelessly. I pray that, Lord, he will not lose his reward. Amen. All those who are supposed to join us, who are not here now, for one reason or the other. I pray, Lord, all the miracles, the blessings you have given unto us, Father, I pray they will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We return all the glory to you. Thank without you, Lord. Faith, without magnified forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, I want to encourage us. Let's all continue to live a life of li a living Christian. A living Christian. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to have testimony in Jesus' name. Uh, God is going to show his power in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. Okay. So uh, let's share the grace together. We shall meet tomorrow on the gathering of the ego. Uh, God bless you. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. We may submit to follow us on the days of our lives. Of our lives. And we shall pray in the house of the Lord, of the Lord forever, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir.